Hey, what's going on everybody? It's ETA Prime back here again. Today we're going to be upgrading the case on my watching. Now, if you're not familiar with this device, it's actually really awesome. It's a do-it-yourself e-paper watch and it's coming to us from a company known as SQFMI. Now, about two months ago, I did a video on this doing the assembly and everything like that. I got the base kit that actually comes with a plastic case. But over on their official website, at the time of buying the kit itself, I also ordered an aluminum case for it. Now, it took a little while to ship, but I figured I'd go ahead and make a quick video upgrading it because this is actually one of my favorite devices that I own. I actually do have a brand new Pixel watch that I've used once or twice. If I ever need a watch, this is the one I definitely go to. It does have built-in Wi-Fi so we can fetch the weather near us. It's got a, a step counter or a pedometer built-in and obviously it tells the time. Over on their official website, they also have some custom watch faces that you can upload or you could create your own if you wanted to. But like I mentioned, in this video, we're going to be adding a custom aluminum case. Now, this is actually a Game Boy style case. They have a few different colors that you can choose from. And everything that I've ordered from SQ FMI has been top notch quality. So I suspect that this is going to fit perfectly. I've got the blue version here. And yeah, this thing looks really good. Taking a closer look, everything is anodized aluminum, even the uh, buttons. So we've got four buttons here for the watchy itself. Comes with all the screws we need. And it definitely looks like a simple install process. But the first thing I need to do is go ahead and disassemble the watchy. I've removed the bands. I'm going to be reusing the bands that came with the uh, original case here. We've got our 200 milliamp hour battery. And I can get around five to six days of battery life out of this, even with Wi-Fi enabled. And I just leave Wi-Fi on to kind of fetch the weather for me. We can actually upload new firmware directly from their web portal, or you could use the Arduino IDE from a Mac, Windows PC, or even a Linux machine. I'm going to be swapping this watch face out once we get the uh, new case on it. But now we need to assemble this, and I find it a lot easier to assemble it from the front to the back, uh, rather than the back to the front, like I think it says in the manual. For me, it just makes it a little easier. I'll make sure I get that screen lined up. I should kind of click right down in here. But this is milled out perfect. I mean, it lines up perfectly inside of this new case. But now we need to go ahead and get the back on. And as you can see, that battery is going to fit right in the notch on the back of this case. And it should snap right down in here. I think I may have a wire in the way. But once we have this together, we've got four screws for the rear. And now we can add the band. But yeah, looks really good here. And like I mentioned, I definitely want to add a new watch face. There's several to choose from over on their website, but you know, since we've got kind of a Game Boy inspired case here for the watchy, I wanted to do kind of a Nintendo or Game Boy inspired watch face. And there's a couple to choose from on their website. They've got Tetris, some Pokemon stuff. And like I mentioned, you can actually connect directly through their web portal. But I use the Arduino IDE. I've got the watch plugged into USB. We need to make sure we choose watchy here. All of the correct libraries will be loaded. And we can go to the examples they have listed here from Watchy, Watch Faces, Seven Segment, Basic, DOS, Mac Paint, Mario, Pokemon. I'm going to go with Pokemon. It's going to load everything up. We can go ahead and compile it and it's going to send it directly over to the watch. And while we're doing this, I just make sure everything's fully updated. Here's a look at some of the other watch faces they have to offer. Plus, they have full documentation on creating your own. So it's really up to you. I mean, there's a lot to choose from with the watchy. Everything's finished compiling. It's now uploaded to the watchy. And this is the look I went with. So yeah, watchy is definitely a bit of a thick boy. It takes a little bit of tinkering to get it up and going. But I think that's why I really like this thing. The whole do-it-yourself aspect of it and that e-paper display looks really good. If you're interested in learning a little more about Watchy, I will leave some links in the description. And don't forget, they do have some of these cases available. A few different colors to choose from, and I think they also have a few different styles, but I definitely wanted to go with this Game Boy-inspired case. But that's going to wrap it up for this one. If you've got any questions, let me know down below. And like always, thanks for watching.